Talks about a big budget deficit are on hold for Sacramento leaders. That's because protesters forced last night's city council meeting to end early. Take a look. She must leave. You cannot shout out three times. You're out. The woman behind. We're in recess. You're all out. There you heard it. Mayor Steinberg wrapping up the meeting early, frustrated there after a series of disruptions. Steinberg asked for at least three people to be removed after they repeatedly shouted out from the gallery. It is not clear what they shouted, but the council says they violated meeting rules and procedures. The people causing the disruption refused, though, to leave. Council members finally decided to postpone the rest of the meeting altogether. So this prevented community members from sharing their thoughts on Sacramento's projected $66 million deficit in the upcoming fiscal year. City leaders now have four months to decide which cuts to make, and the city says the deficit is the result of revenues not growing like they expected and higher costs after negotiating new contracts with city workers. So now they have to deal with the deficit, and the way to do that at this point is still unclear. We will manage this. Um, there are a number of ways to, that we can deal with this, and then there's going to be some structural changes that we have to make in terms of service. Now I'm just concerned as to does that mean they're not they're going to stop any new programs or stop investing in Gar in Gardenland Northgate, or are they going to be reductions? Mayor Steinberg told Case Series 3 that he hopes that there is no need to lay off city workers or to cut services that are important to the community. The budget discussion is going to be taking place now on March the 12th. Now, before the city leaders shut down that council meeting, they did manage to adopt a new general plan that they describe as housing friendly. Case Series 3's Melanie Wingo joins us now live from City Hall with uh, what's in the plan. Good morning. Good morning. City leaders are highlighting how the 2040 general plan adopted last night will govern how the city uses land over the next two decades. The city says the changes will lead to more housing near transit and in existing neighborhoods. The new general plan also reduces dependence on cars, according to the city. Other changes include allowing property owners to build on a greater portion of their lots, and the city says that could lead to more housing being developed in the forms of duplexes, triplexes and fourplexes. The city will also eliminate caps on how many units can be built in single family zones and in some cases, and this is a big change, developers will no longer be required to provide parking. The city says that will reduce the cost of new housing developments. On social media last night, Mayor Daryl Steinberg saying about the plan, the new general plan we adopted tonight makes us the most pro-housing city in the country. This plan represents the true progressive values of the city of Sac. Housing for all. The new general plan will be put in place by March 28th. Reporting live at City Hall, Melanie Wingo, KCRE 3 News.